what assurances have you sought or received from Craig Kelly, and what is your plan for the Speaker of the House of Reps? There are no changes that are required as a result of the announcement earlier today, and you heard that directly from the member for Hughes. The government continue to function as it has successfully, and as the government has led uh, Australia through uh, the worst uh, situation we've seen since the Second World War, we will continue to do so undistracted, and we'll be able to do so uh, with the support of the Parliament uh, from the very undertakings that the member for Hughes has indicated himself publicly. Prime Minister, authority. what does it say about your authority over your party room? Prime Minister, what does it say about your authority over your party room when you lose one of your own members to the crossbench? And this is an individual who owes you. You saved his pre-selection. In relation to the member for Hughes, to Craig, we had a discussion a couple of weeks ago, as you'll be aware. I set out some very clear standards and he made some commitments that I expected to be followed through on. He no longer felt that he could meet those commitments, but I can tell you, my standards don't change. Prime Minister, did, when did, did uh, Craig Kelly tell you he was going to quit the Liberal Party? Did he seek any guarantee about his uh, pre-selection from you? Is there anything he asked you to do that you would not offer him? I, I learned it at the same time as he announced it to the party room. Had you lost confidence in Mr Kelly, uh, his ability to be a Liberal MP given his freelancing and also his ability to win pre-selection for the Liberal Party uh, for years? Well, his pre-selection is a matter for him in the Liberal Party, but that is no longer an issue because he's resigned from the Liberal Party. But I say what I just said to you before. I set out very clear expectations on a range of matters um, that I expected uh, Craig to follow through on. He'd given me a number of commitments in relation to that. He no longer felt that he could meet those commitments. And as a result, he's made his decision today and by his own... Um, uh, explanation. He has said that his actions uh, were slowing the government down and he believed the best way for him to proceed was to, to remove himself from the party room and, and provide the otherwise support to the government so it could continue uh, to function as it so successfully has, which he says is something that he remains committed to. And so I would expect him to conduct himself in that way. You've lost your working majority. Kelly, Mr Kelly's promised you or guaranteed you know, supply and confidence, but what about your legislative agenda going forward? Is it going to make you rethink plans and something like the energy bill, which you're not sure what's going on with at the moment? You, you now need a crossbencher for every vote, effectively, if you're opposed by Labor. Are you going to have to rethink in the next 12 months? No. No. I'm, I'm, I mean... Mm. with Craig Kelly. Do you have any expectation that um, Craig Kelly will actually join the Nationals? And given that he's defied your request, in, as you described in various ways in relation to alternative COVID cures, do you have any concerns he's just going to end up with the National Party room? No, I don't, but that's really a matter for others 